That is wicked sharp. Now let's go pack the family up, drive to Florida, and stab some fish in the Everglades. All right, Tommy, you ready for this? Yeah! There's a big canal over here, Tommy. Look at this, Tom. Look at this. That's a dead... You know what that is? That's a dead... That's an armored catfish. Armored catfish? Yeah, this is, this is an armored catfish from South America. That's the first one I've ever seen outside of an aquarium. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's All right, we're in the swamps of Southwest Florida near the Everglades National Park. And we are looking for pythons. We're also looking for tilapia and Oscar, armored catfish, other invasive fish. And we're gonna try to spear some of those. See him, Tom, right there? <laughs> oh, right, look at that big alligator. Oh, look at this. All those bass. Yeah, I just... Anywhere there's water, we're stopping and checking out and looking for invasive species like tilapia and oscars, armored catfish, and uh, we're gonna... And alligators. And alligator. Big old alligator on the side of the road. All right, we're driving around. Got a little spot, we're stopping. I see a gar there. Oh, he sees me now. We're driving down the road and an iguana was running down the road. I know. Yeah, no way I'm following him into there. <laughs> but he was booking it down the road. Stabbed him, but it came off. Oh, there are some big bass down here. Oh, look at that. Big spotted bass, big bass. There's a peacock bass. Spotted bass. Ah, oh, there's a there's an Oscar down there. I stabbed him and he got away. Oh, look what he did to my, look what he did to my barb. I just got him with one barb. Wow, I just pulled over this little canal on the side of the road. Just saw an armored catfish swim off. You were going to poke me because of... I saw a bunch. What's up, what's up, what's up? I saw him, but he got away. Okay, get him, Tom. Oh, I spot him. Oh, there's, look, there's one right on the surface. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them right there. Yeah, I got an idea. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the fishing line to the spear and then throw it. Oh, I can see it right there. You ready? Yeah, reel it in. Look, I got him. Reel him in. It worked. Reel him in. He popped off. Oh, it popped off. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's get the other fishing rod. Okay, so it was good plan, bad execution. Like yeah, here we go. I want to be like this so bad. <laughs> Look at that, I got him. Here. There we go. I can't believe I got him. Oh, look at this guy. Look at the noises he's making. This is my first armored catfish. And they got they call them armored catfish. They got spines all the way down here. Spines here, here. They're just covered in scales and spines. I think I got kind of lucky that first time. All right. Oh, I see a bunch. Right there. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, I just stuck it into the mud there. No, no, I meant just watch Tom. Nope. I did. I got him. Hey Tom, will you do me a huge favor? Yeah. Will you hold the rope? Yes. Okay, right here. Hold this right there. Okay. Oh, here's one right here. I can see a little one right here. Got him? I think so. Hey, handy edge. Handy edge to me. Handy edge to uh, me. Look at this. We got a double. A, ba a, a daddy and a, and a baby. Yeah, that one. That one was easy because I didn't have to throw it. Oh, man, that's a big guy. All right, guys, we're back here at the house and we're gonna try cleaning and cooking that armored catfish. And to full disclosure here, I've never done this before. I've got some ideas and we're gonna see how it goes. So it's gonna be kind of like an unboxing video, only with an animal. Well, this is the armored catfish and as the name implies, it's got armor all over it. It's got these really hard scoots or scales with little spines on it, kind of like the sturgeon do on their backs. Its um, skin is sandpapery like a shark. Look at that, his mouth is really weird. It's got these little brushes on there. Um, no, no teeth, just these soft lips with brushes. The belly's soft, but this is hard. These are aquarium pets. You, people will have these in their aquarium. They're the ones that'll stick to the glass and eat the algae off the aquarium. Um, these eat decaying wood and other things. A kind of a funky fish. They feed off of algae. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. But a really cool, cool looking fish. Look at the pattern on its skin there. This is about a medium sized fish. They get probably two to three times this size, but this is a decent one for this area. It's weird, the, 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 the spines on its pectoral fins aren't sharp, but they're, they're scratchy, it's like sandpaper. They, like this fish is designed to stick to things. It's like spines are for gripping more than defense. And then this spine up here isn't sharp. All right, we got this thing reasonably cleaned out without too much fuss. Now we're gonna try barbecuing it. Okay, now we're gonna salt the outside of the fish, but not the inside. Don't put salt inside the fish. You'll overpower the meat. This is just on the scales. Let's take it to the barbecue. Do like that. We're just gonna lay them straight on there. Kind of roll him onto his other side there. All right. There you go, Becca. What do you think? It smells a little funky, it doesn't it? Smells a little fishy. Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah, I know I'm not gonna eat it. De-shelled the thing. 
I might have cooked it a touch longer, but it's okay. But that is all of the meat off of that entire catfish. Is that tasty? Yeah, you like that? All right. Hmm. Not bad. Got more? Okay. The only seasoning was salt on the outside of the fish. It's um, a little chewier than normal catfish, but uh, no weird flavor. There you go, Jacob. That's your third piece. You know, it's a little chewier than normal catfish, but there's not really any um, weird aftertaste or anything. It's just, you know, it's, um, it's different. So it's pretty nondescript, but um, yeah, not bad, not bad. Not a lot of meat on those guys. Those Placo catfish are pretty scrawny, but at any rate, that was kind of fun. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more catch and cook videos, don't forget to click subscribe to the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. We have an entire playlist of catch and cook videos. I'll put a link down in the description. And if you want to see more videos from this vacation, well, check out my other channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, where we'll have lots of videos from this, including alligator hunting.